employees. We have two new books today, and you can choose which one it, you would like to read. Mm, this one. Can you share why you chose that one? Because uh, I like hedgehogs. Do you? What do you know about hedgehogs? Uh, that they can keep themselves protected by their color, coat and stuff. Do you know what those are called? Mm -hmm. We're going to find out in this book what they're called. Okay, so let's take a little walk through, all right? Mm -hmm. Did you notice on that page, Chloe? Um, the hedgehog's head. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This page, it has the whole body. Yeah, and here's that page where the author tells us what those prickly things are. Can you find that word on that page? Um, what do you think it is? They're called spines. Hmm. They're called spines. So when you said those pokey things, they're actually called, the scientific name is spines. So they're going to talk about the spines on that page. Okay. Um, it looks like <laughs> a person is holding it. Yeah. So maybe it's like this. A hedgehog's the size of a person's hand. Could be. Do you think they might be talking about the baby there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baby one. Hmm. Mm. What do you notice on that page? Um, it's in the grass. It is. And this is, what kind of book is this? Non it is, so it's giving us information about that hedgehog. So we'll have to find out on that page what what they tell us about the hedgehog. Oh my and goodness. The hedgehog's eating an apple. Yeah, they're gonna tell us what they eat, what they eat, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Why would the author put a fox on that page? Maybe fox is eat um hedgehogs. Yeah, did you know that? We'll have to mm -hmm. read to find out, right? And maybe owls do too. Yeah, we'll have to read to find out that, right? Oh. Now the hedgehog's just showing its spines. It is. And you mentioned something earlier that they protect, right? What would another word for protect be? Um, or what could the author use instead of they protect? The author in this book uses the word safe. Can you find that word safe on that page? Yeah. So instead of protect, the author uses the word safe. safe. Yeah. All right. And what do you notice here? Um, it has those two things <laughs> on the back. Yeah. Well, the author kind of ends it in a little bit of a funny way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so what do you want to read to find out with hedgehogs? We know a lot about hedgehogs, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think that you, we want to read to find out? Um, to learn more about To learn them. more, to fill your brain with more, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is an informational text, right? So we're going to learn all about, more about the hedgehog because you are familiar with the hedgehog, right? This is a hedgehog. A hedgehog has... Small, small eyes and a little nose. Mm -hmm. Can you try that sentence again? And a long nose. What did you do there? What did you um, notice? Well, I remember that little doesn't, well this word, well little has T's in it, and then this word doesn't. Yeah, so you knew visually that it didn't look right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. A hedgehog has spines on its back. Spines help keep hedgehogs safe. You knew that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You used they protect them, right? Yeah. This is a mm. 
What are you thinking there? Um, like a baby hedgehog, but it doesn't say baby hedgehog. What does so. it say, do you think? Um, Give that word a try. Maybe? Do a slow check. Put your finger underneath it and kind of do a slow check. And that does not make sense. Mm, no. Mm. What do you think? You do you know a word that looks like the beginning of that word? What are you thinking? Um, well... What are you noticing about that word that might help you? Maybe it says chocolate. Oh, you're getting closer, aren't you? What is this word? I'm not sure if I can write it here. What is that word? Hot. Hot. Use the beginning of hot to get to that first part. Hug. Try it. Hug. And then use the second part. Huglet. Yeah, try it in the whole sentence now. <clears throat> this is a huglet. So what did you just learn there? That baby hedgehogs are called huglets. Yeah, so let's go ahead and read it again. A huglet is a baby hedgehog. Yeah, good problem solving there. <clears throat> hedgehogs. Sleep in the day. They are up at night. What does that remind you of? Um, bats and owls. They are, so they're very much like bats and owls. Mm -hmm. That's something new I learned today. How about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see what else we can learn. Hedgehogs eat bugs. They eat fruit, too. Some hedgehogs eat worms and eggs. <laughs> what are you thinking there? Mm, they eat all sorts of food. Were you surprised by that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we learned back here that they stay up at night and then they must, what, go out and find worms food. and eggs and all those mm -hmm. kinds of things. All right, what do you think? Foxes look like to eat hedgehogs. <laughs> so... Some owls eat hedgehogs, too. They do, don't they? A hedgehog can roll into a ball to be safe. Hmm. And it's... What have you tried? Using the beginning of letters. Okay. What do you think the author's trying to tell us there? It uses its... <laughs> Something it uses, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think the hedgehog uses? Are you thinking about what that word is? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of stuff stuck in my head. Yeah, that's okay. Um, um, do you know what this word is? Mm -mm. That word is line. Use line to get to that. Spine. Try it. It's spine helps keep owls and foxes away. Yeah. Mm. 
sun times then they get stuck in a hedgehog's Mm -hmm. Try that again. Sometimes they get stuck in a, a hedgehog spine. Mm, what do you think? Um, this word just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, does it? So what do you think you could try? Mm. Do you know any words that look like that word? Nope. Mm. Hmm. I bet you know this word. Singing. Sing, right? Sing. So use it to solve. Thing. Now try it. Sometimes things get stuck in a hedgehog's spine. Yeah. Did you know that? Mm -mm. Things get stuck in there? It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's another thing we learned, didn't we? So we yep. learned a couple of things in the story, didn't we? Mm-hmm. What are some thoughts you have after you were finished reading that? Um, they, um, they eat, they find food at the night time. Yeah, is that something new that you learned? And mm -hmm. that's one of the things you were going to read to find out, some new things. So that's something new you learned. Right. So let's go back. Something I noticed that you do quite well as a reader is when it didn't look right, you went back and you tried again. You tried it again, didn't you, to make it look right, sound right, and make sense, right? So now, and one of the other things you do really well is when when I can give you a word, you can figure that out. You use the word to solve a new word, don't you? So that's something to think about as a reader when another strategy is that you can say, do I know a word that looks like this word that could help me solve this word? So you mm -hmm. want to think of all those words you know and you've learned and ask yourself, do I know a word that will help me? And then you can pull it up yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And that can help you like the word sing. Got you to the word thing. things. Yeah. Thanks. Yep.